Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Prince Automation Destination. This set Prince. I hope you are doing well. So in our last lecture of chain test report series, we discussed about what is chain test report. So chain test report is successor of extent report as extent report is getting sunset. Also, we understood how to configure chain test report in PDD Cucumber based framework. And we generated two type of report, simple and email with the help of simple generator and email generator respectively. In case you are not aware on what is chain test report and how to generate simple and email report in BTD Cucumber based framework, I would request you to please check out my previous video, which I'll be sharing in I icon. And now we are going to discuss about another type of generator that is chain LP generator to generate real time and historical data, right? So what is chain LP? Chain LP is a Java based Spring Boot server which packs Angular front end as, and is distributed in the form of Docker image. So the Docker image is available on this particular location. So in order to use Chain LP generator, we'll have to create a container of it which will serve like a server where we can view different reports of chain test right, related to Chain LP. So we'll soon understand about all this. So Chain LP is a framework component that provides historical analytics. But how does it provide this history? It provides this history with the help of database, right? So what are the different databases which are supported? So it supports H2, MySQL, PostgreSQL, and any other RDBMS database should also work, right? For current lecture, we'll be utilizing H2 as we don't need to install H2 database into the local machine because H2 is a in-memory database and will be created on the fly, right? Now corresponding to all of the above databases, right? There is a Docker YAML provided by the developer, right? So as we discussed that we need to create a container of this particular image, right? And that container should point to some database, right? So for that purpose, docker compose.yaml file is provided by the developer. So in case we want to utilize S2 database, so we can utilize S2 related compose file. In case we want to utilize MySQL, we can utilize MySQL, right? And we can create container with different settings, with the respective settings, I mean, right? So for demonstration purpose, we can use S2, but in real time, when we'll be setting up this particular chain LP server for the organization, at that point of time, we should not use S2. Instead, we should use any real time database that is MySQL, PostgreSQL on the machine where this chain LP server is getting created, right? Now this is sample docker compose h2.yaml uh, file. So this is docker compose file for s2 database, right? So this is version 3, this is docker compose version. So docker compose is generally used when we want to uh, initialize multiple containers, right? But in our case, we are going to create container uh, for one, one image only, right? So we can either use docker run command or we can use docker compose. But docker compose uh, will have everything. So we'll be utilizing docker compose and as this is provided by the developer, so we can utilize it, right? So we don't need to worry much about it, right? This is one time activity setting up the server. The main thing is generating the report, right? So services is, this is where we can define multiple services as we are defining only one service. So we can name it. So chain test. This is the image that we are going to create container for. This is the name of container and this is environmental settings between the Spring Boot server and the database. So the database should be on the local machine as we are using H2. So this is in memory database, right? So this is the configuration that we need to provide. This is the URL and this is the class name. And this is the mapping between the port, right? So in order for local host, local host is a place where this server will be available, right? For local host to talk to the container, there should be mapping between the port. So this is how we can provide the mapping. So it is one it is for the container uh, port and another it is for the host port, right? Right. Now, what is the prerequisite for channel LP generator? So first of all, Docker should be installed as we need to create a container. So Docker should be installed and it should be up and running. Right. And if we want to utilize any other database other than S2, right, which would be the real case, right, because S2 is for the demonstration purpose, so database should be installed. So wherever we are creating this channel LP server, we should have one database available there. Right. So this is what should be there right so for example if you want to utilize mysql so michael's mysql should be installed in that machine where this chain lp server will be set up with the help of this particular container right another way is what we can do is we can use the database as a service right so what we'll simply do is we'll define one service uh, related to database and we can utilize that database in this particular um, uh, chain test container right but that is not recommended because if uh, that database related container is killed so we'll lost now we'll lose 
the history so that is not recommended right so database as a service should not be used so database should be installed right now let me move on to the documentation right so in order to use the compose file in, in order to create container uh, container of this image with the help of uh, docker compose file first we can clone this so he has provided the docker compose files and we can navigate to this particular location right so what i will do is i'll say i have already cloned it right so this is the location i'll simply open open cmd right and then what we need to do right so now uh, um, we have navigated to this particular compose location right so we can run this chain lp server by using either docker compose command because we have docker compose file already available or we can use docker run right so if you will take a look at docker compose file it has everything it has a, a name of service it has image name it is container name right environmental settings right but uh, so we can simply use docker compose hyphen f and docker compose this is the yaml file and this is up so using up we can up this particular container right another one is docker run so this is another command when we have a single container in this case we have a single image so we can utilize it but we'll have to provide these things explicitly hyphen d for detached mode this is name of service this is environmental settings using hyphen e and this is port setting and this is image right now let me go to this particular cmd right where this docker yaml file is available so what i will do is i'll simply copy this particular line and we'll use it into this particular thing right so as soon as i'll hit this right uh, that server should be started right let us wait for the same right so spring boot server is started let us wait for the welcome message so this is one time activity this would be done once only right so started chain lp in 12.82 seconds right now what i will do is i'll simply open localhost because i have set it up on the local machine so we can access this particular server with the help of localhost so this is the place where we'll be able to see the reports right now the chain lp server is set up the next thing is we need to enable chain lp generator in btd cucumber framework so for that purpose we'll be adding these properties into chain test dot properties file so first property is to enable chain lp generator second is to point to the chain lp generator class third is the location of the server which is localhost in my case but in real time it would be the ip address of the machine where the chain lp server would be running right so what i'll be doing is i'll be going here and we'll be copying these files right and we'll be going to intellij and under this chain test dot properties we'll add one comment and we'll add chain lp when it enables we'll enable these options right so we'll have to make it as true right and now we will try to execute the same test case right this test case which we executed in the last lecture right where we are launching the source demo ad, uh, app we are entering the credentials then we are adding item to the cart and we are verifying it right so before i execute i just want to show you the dashboard on this dashboard we don't see any report so far so what i will do is i will execute this test case now once the execution will be completed i'll navigate to this dashboard and i'll start seeing this particular framework project i mean right so if i go inside this so this is the result of first build so if i click on this i can see the result of first build so this is the dashboard this is step level information right and we see the result of build one right so we have matrices as well that we will understand when we will execute it uh, for the second time right so to capture the result of second build what we will do is we will simply execute the same test case once again in real time it is going to be the entire suit right so let me execute it once again you see it is executed you see we are able to see the result of second build as well so we can see the result of both the builds build one and build two so we can see the variation as well between build one and build two and we can see the matrices as well so this is related to uh, one build first build i mean this is second this is uh, test growth right so this is how we can verify these analytics details right now coming back right 
So one more thing about GNLP uh, generator is we can have multiple projects. So it can serve like a common dashboard for multiple projects. So suppose management want to have a common dashboard where they want to track the health of each project. So we can configure all the project and that they can point to this particular central uh, dashboard, right? So how we will do it? Suppose there is another project, right? So and let us say they have name. Uh, the sprints automation destination demo right in real time it would be a separate project but i'm making changes here only and let me execute the test case once again so if i'll refresh it i'll see another project right so this is this was first project and this is second project so i can view the result of second project as well so this is how we can take a look at the project right so this is how it works okay now uh, coming back to uh, the slides right suppose we have a screenshot failure right so if screenshot is getting failed then how we will track the failure right so for that purpose i just want to make a intentional failure so i'll go to this particular step def as like we did right so we went into the second uh, the last step and we are making an intentional failure Right. So if I'll execute this particular test case, let us see what will happen. So I just want to show you target for simple generator because if I go to this chain test dot properties, so I have enabled simple generator as well as chain LP generator. So if I go into this chain, uh, this simple generator report. I'll be able to see the report and I'll be able to see the screenshot. So how this screenshot is coming? The screenshot is getting stored on this particular location and that too because of uh, the logic that we have written in the base uh, step dev. So if I, for example, go to this particular location, step devs and UI step dev and here in the after section, we wrote this logic, right? So uh, when we are calling this scenario dot attach, so using the uh, because of this scenario dot attach, this chain test is automatically adding this screenshot under this chain test uh, folder in target and under resources it is adding the screenshot. But if for example I go to this particular dashboard, right, chain LP dashboard, I'll see the failure, right, but I won't be able to see the screenshot. Why? because in case of simple generator the screenshots are already available here and the report is able to refer but in case of chain lp we need some cloud storage right so we can either use uh, aws s3 bucket or we can use azure blob so first of all we'll have to enable the storage then we'll have to provide whether we are going to use azure blob or we are going to use aws s3 bucket and accordingly we'll be able to store the screenshot so once we have enabled these settings, we'll be able to see the screenshot in the report. So this is how it will work. Okay. Meaning if I, for example, go to IntelliJ, right? Here in chain test properties, I'll have to first enable it. Then I'll have to provide either Azure Blob or AWS3. And then we need to provide the container uh, name, right? So it would be the public container. If it is public container, we'll be able to upload the screenshot. And then after we'll be able to see this particular screenshot. Right. But in my case, I don't have any active S3 bucket or AWS uh, blob, right? That's why I am unable to demonstrate it. I'll try to create one public S3 bucket or AWS blob and we'll try to demonstrate soon in the next lecture maybe or in upcoming time, right? And now coming back to uh, so for screenshot, we understood, right? We will we would need some cloud storage and we'll have to enable these options, right? Now, what are the benefits of uh, chain LP? so it aggregate data for all products uh, for example as we discussed that for one organization let us say there are like multiple uh, projects right so it will work like a single dashboard and management can take a view from that particular dashboard that how different projects are working and it uh, from this we can check the trend of the project as well as indi uh, individual project right so we can check all the projects and their respective trends and we get the real time uh, test case updates for example, in our case, we executed on one test case. So let us say there is uh, 500 test cases or 100 test cases, right? So whichever test case is getting executed, their corresponding status is getting updated into this particular NLP dashboard. So we get the real time data. So these are the different benefits of chain LP. Now there is some questions. Is Docker required for all chain test report? 
so the answer is no because docker is needed only in case of chain lp generator because chain lp generator needs one server and that server we can up using uh, with, with the help of i mean uh, docker container right so in only in the case of chain lp generator we would need this uh, docker otherwise for simple generator and email generator we don't need docker at all so this is what i wanted to cover guys as part of current lecture in the next lecture we will try to understand how to integrate chain test report in test engine